So now that I've shown you how simple paths work by playing that child game, connect the dots, we're gonna go into the more difficult aspect of the pen tool and that is drawing curves. Not everything you draw is gonna have straight edges. They're gonna have curves. So I'm gonna to go to file and open again. In that same 10.0 paths folder, I'll open file number two, lines that bend. So I'm gonna zoom in on this right there. And the main idea with lines that bend is you have to evaluate what you're gonna draw before you actually sit down to draw it. And what I mean by that is I have to look at the distance of this curve. The general rule with the pen tool is you wanna click and drag all in one motion. The length of this curve, I'm gonna click and drag about 30%, the length of that curve. The second thing I gotta look at is what angle is the curve going at? So if I start from here and I look at this, 30% of this length is gonna be about that. The curve from the start goes up and to the right at 60 degrees. So I'm gonna press and hold down my mouse and push it up and to the right at 60 degrees. Okay, up and to the right because the curve is going up and to the right, about 30% the length of the curve. As soon as you let go of the mouse, don't click again. Let go of your mouse and now follow this red line. This is the curve you're trying to make. So you're gonna follow it and notice at the other side, you're going down and to the right. So I hover over the end, press and hold and pull my mouse down and to the right. And as I'm pulling my mouse downward, I'm actually looking up, okay? Nothing I'm drawing is down here. I gotta pull the mouse down to bend the curve up. It, you're gonna get the hang of this. It's just a weird way of drawing. It's like walk forward, but look behind you. Like what? Well, drag down here, but don't look down here. Look at the curve that you're bending. Okay, and we're gonna have plenty of practice with this. So. If you didn't get that, hit delete twice. And again, if the curve goes up to the right, I press and hold and go up and to the right. As soon as I let go of my mouse, I go around to the end of the curve. Watch as my mouse moves down and to the right. So I know the end of the curve is going down and to the right. But again, I'm not going to look down here because I'm actually bending the line up here. So I'm gonna press and hold, drag down, which is bending the curve above. Command and click, deselect that line, hold my space bar for my hand tool, we'll pull this curve into view right here. And like I said before, you wanna click and drag 30% the length of your curves. So notice the distance from here to here. That's a pretty short distance, which means I'm gonna have to drag short lines. Drag a short line to create a short curve. Drag a long line to create a long curve. Okay, so right here, the distance is short. The curve goes up to the right. So I'm gonna click and drag a short line also up to the right. I let go of the mouse, then I follow my curve. The second point, it's coming down and to the right. So I press and hold and drag down and to the right. As soon as I let go of the mouse, I follow the curve. Now it's turning and going back up and to the right. So I press and hold and continue up and to the right, even though I'm technically looking down here because that's the curve I'm bending. Then when I let go, follow it to the last point. And even though this is going down and to the right, remember, you're gonna be bending the curve up here. So I press and hold down and to the right to bend my curve up here. 
the curve is coming down so you continue to go down there's my second curved line command click to deselect I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so I can see these three little bouncing curves and the other general rule with the pen tool is when you have corners you're going to have to use your option key or your alt key on a PC okay Cur or corners start with the option key okay this is not a corner this is just the end of the line and it's a short distance so 30 percent of a short distance going to be a pretty short line if this curve goes up to the right i'm going to press and hold and go up and to the right as soon as i let go of my mouse I'm going to go to the end of the curve right here and it's going down and to the right. So I'm going to press and hold and come down and to the right. Okay, the next curve starts from a corner. If I do not hold the option key starting here, I'm going to ruin the first line like this. See, now I've bent it out of shape. Okay, so I have to go to edit and undo. If I know the next thing that I'm going to draw starts from a corner, I hold option key to start from a corner, click and drag up. Now I let go of the mouse and the option key. I follow the curve to the end. You do not hold the option key at the end of the curve. You just press and hold and drag. There's my second curve. Okay, again, the next thing that I'm going to draw starts from a corner. If I do not hold option key here, I'm going to ruin this curve like this. See, now I've ruined it again. Edit, undo. If I'm starting from a corner, I'm going to hold option key. Now I can lift this way up high because that's a long curve. So I got to drag a long line and it's going up and to the right. So I will go up and to the right. Let go of the mouse. Let go of the option key. You do not hold option key at the end of a curve. This curve is coming down and to the right. Press and hold and continue down and down and down to the right to bend that curve above. Command click, there's another one done. This one down here just says click and drag straight up and down when you have more pronounced curves. Not these low kind of bending curves, but these almost go straight up and down. So if the curve goes down from here, click and drag down. As you turn around and now it goes back up, click and drag straight up as you go over the hill and it comes back down click and drag down as you turn and come around the curve and now it ends by going back up click and drag up command click to deselect and again for this closed shape you're going to see a small circle next to the pen tool again that small circle is called your loop because this is, it needs me to go all the way loop back around to the start. So right here, this edge goes up. So I'm going to click and drag up. I dragged a short line because that's a short distance right here. Now it goes over the hill and comes back down and to the right. So I'm going to click and drag down and to the right. Then it turns in this little dip and now it starts to come back up and to the right. So I'll click and drag up and to the right. Every time I let go, look ahead. What's the next thing going to do? It's going to come over the hill and come almost straight down. So I'm going to click and drag almost straight down until the curve above matches my scan. Every time I let go, move forward. The bottom, it goes to the left. So I'll press and hold and go to the left. And then when I come around this turn, I got to go back up to get to this last point. There's my little loop. So I press and hold and go up and up and up until I bend the curve down below.
I can hit command zero to fit on screen. There's my paths panel. Again, it's a working path. So I double click the name. We'll call this curved paths and I'll hit okay or return. Like I said before, I click down below, turn them off, then click once to reactivate all of them. You don't want just one at a time. You want to activate all of them. I've already set up my brush from the last file. Already set up my colors from the last file. I go to the pop-up on the paths panel, stroke the path. I pick the brush again from the list. And this time, what I wanted to show you is this little button. It's called simulate pressure. If this is turned on, you will get a tapered or pinched end at your lines like that. Looks kind of elegant. Looks like a little curvy mustache. So it starts with low pressure, more and more and more. If you were using a Wacom tablet, less, 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 less. So that's what simulate pressure does. Just kind of a funky little gimmick. Uh, I'm going to save this file. Call it curves or curve paths to uh, last name, first name, paths to or curved paths, whatever you want to call it. I grade by the visuals anyway. So you can uh, save it and move on to the third tutorial, which is a combination of straight lines and curved lines. We'll do that in a minute.